awesome. Wedding ring, man. Can't beat it. It is a trout killer. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Had a couple short strikes, but this one is this one is hooked. Nice little rainbow. Woo, there we go. First fish of the day. <laughs> Not a huge fish, but we're off to a good start. We ain't there, Lucy. <laughs> Wedding ring, getting it done. There's that orange blade, chrome body, and uh, we'll get this guy back in the lake. Shad tubes, minnow tubes, soft plastic grubs. Get serious about trout and landlocked king trolling with serious soft plastics from the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store. Last week I got a question from a viewer here on the YouTube channel and also a Fish Niffer subscriber. His name is Trey and he loves to fish wedding ring spinners for kokanee. Tips them with corn just like everybody else. But he asked me, you know, if you're going out trout fishing with wedding rings, what do you do then? Do you tip them with corn? Do you troll them without the corn? Just troll them, troll them without any bait on them at all? What do you do? And uh, the simple answer is you just put that wedding ring on the end of your line and you'll catch trout on it. No need to tip it. But I do prefer to tip them. But I'm a guy, I like to fish bait. You can tip them with corn. That'll still work. You'll catch a lot of trout when you're out kokanee fishing. You could tip them with a little piece of anchovy skin if you're in a lake that has a lot of threadfin shad or pond smelt. Or you can tip them, and this is my favorite, with a little piece of worm. Let me take you through that rigging. So I have a brand new, out of the package, dandy looking Max Lure Wedding Ring Spinner. Pretty standard trout fare. Got a red or a reddish pink and white blade. Got the red bead body. This is something I would fish it. You know, buggy lakes like Baum Lake up at French Meadows Reservoir. Mostly a high Sierra offering for me. You got the vibration and the flash of the spinner. You've got the color of the body and you got that taste of real meat. Now, wedding rings, they'll slide up and down that leader, see? So this is gives us a great opportunity to put a threaded worm on here, but I don't use a whole worm. I use about a three quarter inch piece. I still put it on the worm threader the same way. Um, take that hook, insert it in the, in the tip of the threader. Might take you a couple tries if you're old and blind like me, but you'll get it. Pull that, uh, pull that leader down tight. Work that worm. Work that worm over the, over the bend in the hook, right up to shank. And when I'm putting these on a wedding ring, I like to go all the way. I go all the way up the line. That one's being difficult, but I'll get him on there. You better believe it. I'll put him all the way onto the leader like that. See? So I got him. He's just on the line. The whole hook is exposed. Take out the threader. Put that down there. Do I lose a lot of worm threaders? You better believe it. Buy two or three when you buy them. They fall out of the boat. They fall out of my pocket. I'm always losing them. I leave them in the kayak at the end of the day and they blow out on the freeway somewhere. If you find a worm threader in your tire, probably mine so send that back to me not the pill for the tire just my worm threader anyway there you go that is a wedding ring spinner tipped with a piece of night crawler and uh, that is trout dynamite up in the high sierras a high mountain lake a lake with a lot of bugs that's got it all it's got the flavor and the taste of real meat it's got the flash and the vibration of the blade. It's got the color of the beaded body. And they're going to probably come up there. They might come up and get hit straight away. They're probably going to come up here and get a couple of taps. A little tap action going on. And they're going to taste that real meat. And they're going to get that thing way back in their mouth. And you're going to be yelling fish on and rainbow trout for dinner. Anyway, this is Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. Hit that subscribe button down there. And I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, folks. Think lead core lines obsolete? Well, think again. Look at those big, beautiful rainbows. I got these fish while trolling 15 to 20 feet deep, and I didn't use a downrigger. If you don't want the expense or hassle of using a downrigger, pick up one of my yellow lead core rods in the Fish Hunt Shoot Production store and get ready to yell fish on. Just like that, baby.